could it be? Yep, that red sore probably means you're developing a zit. But if you know what kind of acne is on your body, it'll be easier to treat. Acne, a common skin condition, comes in several varieties. The type you develop depends on where the acne forms and how your body reacts to it. Here's a rundown that will help you understand and treat that unwelcome blemish. The least severe and most common forms of acne are called comedones. Comedones include both blackheads and whiteheads and usually crop up on the face, targeting the nose in particular. Blackheads occur when a pore becomes blocked with oil, dead skin cells, minute hairs, and bacteria. A blackhead has an engorged opening which hides just below the surface. Whiteheads are similar to blackheads except the pores opening is much narrower. A whitehead stays the whitish tint of the oil and skin cells inside of the blemish. When most of us talk about pimples, we're usually referring to pustules. These collections of dead skin, white blood cells, and bacteria push their way through the skin, creating a dome-shaped whitish blemish. The most severe kinds of acne, nodules and cysts, are significantly more painful than other types. Because they're often found together, dermatologists call them nodulocystic acne. A nodule is an inflammation of the hair follicle that penetrates deep into the skin. Nodules are firm to the touch. Cysts, like pustules, are formed of bacteria, dead skin, and white blood cells. But they're much larger than common pimples, go deeper into the skin, and are usually more inflamed. Because they penetrate so deeply into the skin, nodules and cysts are more likely to leave scars and are also harder to treat. They usually require the aid of a dermatologist and prescription medication. No matter what type of blemish you have, you'll need more than patients to get rid of it. There are plenty of over-the-counter and prescription medications to treat the full gamut of acne classifications. Because acne comes in so many different forms, it's good to know what you're seeing in the mirror so you can treat it effectively. And remember, please see a dermatologist if your acne is particularly painful, leads to scars, or resists treatment. Want to learn more? Check out other videos and sources on this site for more information.